Okay, hello everyone, and thank you very much for watching the video. Um, as you must be aware, um, I am creating those videos because I would like to put more hands-on experience at, at my students. I mean, they, 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 they must have more uh, um, feel experience related with power system protections. As a consequence, as you are following my videos, today we are running a special session dedicated for uh, starting up and view uh, some of the menus and screens inside the beautiful Twicer Engineering Laboratories Cell 751. As you must be aware, the Cell 751 is an amazing modern compact uh, feeder protection relay. Okay, this this uh, feeder protection relay has many features and includes several uh, protection functions, starting from the classical overcurrent protection, um, um, instantaneous and 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 time dependent uh, over current protection and, and, and going through directional under frequency and so on. As a consequence, this device is extremely, extremely powerful. Um, as, as following my, my previous uh, video, I told you about several of those features and one of the features that is making me follow in love with this relay is the touch screen, okay? As I say, as I stated in my previous video, um, this, this uh, Cell 751, uh, there is a version that is coming with a touch screen, okay? We are talking about five inch, relatively small, uh, but is a powerful 800 by, uh, by 480 uh, pixels and is full color, okay? What I'm telling you is that this is on the left-hand side. This is one of the relays that is quite top of the line on cell, and this is coming with the beautiful and lovely feature of touch screen. I say that because when, 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 when you are in the industrial environment, typically the protections are not so uh, colorful and 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 sometimes it's very difficult to find a friendly user uh, human machine interface. Okay, but Cell has gone to the limit here and has included this uh, uh, touch screen. Okay, uh, of course you can you can you can have another another version without the touch screen, but at the lab um, we have the possibility of having the five inch um, uh, touch screen, and that is what I will be covering here okay today what is the job um, today i will start with a short description about the inputs output configuration of this relay basically i will focus in one of the boards specifically i will go to the a slot A, that, that is the power uh, unit, okay? Um, what I want to show you is the typical internal configuration and the terminals related to the power supply of this relay. Then I will show you uh, the terminals and the connectors that you need to use in order to supply power to this relay. And from there, we will switch on the relay. Then when the relay is on, I will show you the real physical relay and I will present some features and general descriptions about the uh, main screen, the home, and several of the icons that you can find there, okay? Well, let's jump into the business, okay? Um, uh, as I presented before, the Cell 751 is a very flexible uh, device. I mean, Cell spent, Twicer spent uh, so much time developing a very versatile and very flexible structure. Um, if you remember my previous video, I showed you that they use a letter designation for the boards, okay? The 751 has several inputs and outputs, and depending on your requirements, you can have more, more boards and slots or not, okay? The classical, the 
the full um, description include six panel slots okay that means that you can use up to six board and twice use the alphabetic letters a b c d e and z alpha bravo charlie delta echo zulu to define the six different rear panel slots okay the basic configuration of the 751 is coming with three basic slots a and B, one for power units, one for power supply, that is the slot A alpha. A slow, a slot B is typically for processor and communication card, okay? Uh, that is where you can find, for instance, the, the fiber optic connectors and, the, for instance, the Ethernet, okay? And finally, every single 751 has a set, a Zulu board. The Zulu is dedicated basically for the inputs, for voltages and current, three-phase voltages, three-phase currents going inside the relay for the sensing and protection, okay? Um, today, I will focus basically in the power supply because right now what I want to do is switch on this relay and show you the screens, okay? For that reason, I will not connect any other input beyond the power supply. I will use two wires, two cables to supply the electricity to this relay in order that this relay can work, okay? Uh, but before we move on, I need that you understand that this very specific relay is coming in a very wide range of um, possible uh, power supply, okay? Uh, Schweizer divide the power supply in high voltage and low voltage, okay? High voltage for Schweizer is a supply that can be AC or DC. For AC, the typical limits 110 to 240, and for DC, high voltage DC is 110 to 250 volts, okay? Um, because this relay is inside my lab, we need to care about the security and safety of the people working at the lab. And for that reason, we select the use of low voltage, okay? We are using DC low voltage. In this case, the cell 751 that we are using has a nominal voltage, supply voltage uh, of 24 to 48 volts, okay? DC. Um, as you must remember, I used this slide in my previous video. We are focusing here in the slot alpha A, or what I want to show you is that we need to define the connectors, location, and the points that we need to connect the supply, okay? As I remember in the previous video, I show you in the real physical device this um, this table that I am showing here, okay? As you must remember, the real cell 751 have a board on the right-hand side that is showing you the terminals, labels, and the use of them, okay? For instance, at the moment, I am really interested on the power supply input, okay? As you must remember, there is a point for the grounding that is the protection ground for this device. They are terminal one and terminal two, alpha zero one, alpha zero two, and those connectors, they are defined for the supply input, okay? In this case, the alpha zero one represent the positive and alpha zero two represent the negative. What I'm trying to explain you, what I'm trying to say is that we are interested in providing supply to this device. We need to connect two wires for the DC supply, alpha zero one, alpha zero two for the supply, okay? They are located over here at the back panel of your, seven, uh, of your cell 751. And as you can see on the right hand see, uh, on the right hand here, the positive the positive terminal, the positive terminal is the alpha zero one, and the negative terminal is the alpha zero two. Okay. Of course, with safety first here, we need to include a ground connector. I mean a ground cable going to this connector over here. Okay. Okay. 
that is something that I will not show in the video, but it's already wired. Uh, the relay is ready for switching on, okay? However, before I switch on the relay, I would like to uh, explain to you a few things, okay? Uh, this relay that we have in the lab, the cell 751, is extremely, extremely friendly in, the, in terms of the human machine interface. Because this touch screen is very intuitive for the new user, okay? Is one mechanism is the human machine interface that allow the user um, input information in this relay, put information in this relay, or also receiving some information. Okay, here I have a short description about some of the practical things that you can do with the touch screen. Okay, for instance, you can have access and see the bay that you are uh, where your relay is working with the circuit breaker you can use the the screen also for displaying some metering and monitoring data you can inspect targets you can go to events history summary data and so on you can see what is the relay status and configuration settings and so on okay if you want to have the full description of of every single detail, I highly suggest that you must go to the official user manual of the cell 751. Schweizer produced very good documentation. You need to read that documentation in order to be able to use this device, okay? Here on the right hand high, on the right hand side, you can see an example. This is a screenshot of the main screen of the cell 751. Something that you must recognize on the top right, you will find the date and time. Okay. Also on the left hand side, you will find what is your location. Okay. In this case, we are at home and the screen is showing you all the icons and all the mimics that you have in this home window okay and finally in the main screen also in blue you know cell devices are bluish and in this case we have icons to represent folders where they are more uh, submenus and also some icons to represent directly functionalities okay well what I will do now is I will switch on the cell 751 and I will show you what is the process and then I will go through several of the features, okay? Okay, right now this, this relay is starting up and the, several, uh, the cell 751 is showing you the welcome screen, showing the classical blue color and showing the name of the manufacturer, Schweizer Engineering Laboratories, okay? Um, as you must be aware, after the relay uh, complete uh, internal checkup, and the relay is telling you that it's enabled and ready to work, okay? As you can see over here, there is a green LED, LED, that say enable, okay? That LED is telling you we are ready to work, okay? We are in business, okay? Uh, however, today I will not discuss much more detail about the buttons or those LID here. Today my job is talking about this area here, and that is the five-inch touch screen. Okay. The first thing that you must realize, okay, this relay is not at the date and time right now because this relay came out the box. And right now, I just showing you what we have at unboxing the device. Okay, uh, what you can realize is that this this uh, touch screen is very intuitive. Okay, very simple to use. If you are if you have a mobile phone and you have touch screen, you must recognize some icons that that can help you. For instance, here we have uh, eight. Uh, eight different icons, but if you press here, 
as you are doing in a classical mobile, you can see that there are one more folder over there, okay? What I'm trying to say is this arrow over here can be on the right or the left hand, and it's just to move in through to the right or to the left. It's the same with the uh, arrows to the to the top or to the bottom, okay? Uh, for instance, um, as you can see over here, there are few icons and folders, okay? Um, the first one that you must identify over there is the bay screen and bay control, okay? That is this icon over here that you recognize with the white back background and blue color for the uh, single line diagram. If I use my finger over here, I press over there, and you can see that the relay is showing you a short um, a graph representing what is the circuit breaker and the location inside the station, the bay, where this relay is working. Right now, we are here with the circuit breaker one in green color, and of course, the current A, B, and C, all of them are in zero. And the reason is extremely simple. We just wire up this device to switch on, okay? At the moment, there is not much information. Again, you can see here the arrows to go up or down, and the classical symbol over here to go back, okay? It's simple, it's very simple, it's intuitive, let's go back, okay? Um, there are uh, here more icons for meter, monitor, reports, control, settings, device info, and so on, okay? For instance, if you go to inside folder related with meters, you can see here at the top, we are in the folder named meter, and inside there are several icons. Immediately, you must recognize this one. You love this one, that is phasers, okay? If you put your finger over there, you will activate a graph representing the phasers for voltages and current. This is fully configurable. I will not go right now uh, in details because there is no power um, signals coming to this relay. This relay is disconnected to voltage and current transformer. However, in real life, we will see here some phasers doing the job, okay? If we press back, Okay, we stay in the same folder, that is the folder for meter. And let me show you, for instance, there are different type of uh, diagrams, there are different type of plots, and also numerical data like the energy, okay? In this case, everything is zero over there. We are showing over there the, the three-phase energy active megawatts hour and also reactive. You can see over there in uh, MVA reactive power. Okay. In this case, everything is zero because again, there is not voltage and current signal coming from the transformer, measurement transformer. Okay. Well, let me go back to the home. You can go to home over there. And right now, there are many other configurations. They are monitoring. For instance, if you are interested to see digital or anal uh, digital inputs or outputs, here we have different type of report. Um, this device has the possibility of recording uh, measurements during events. You can see over there events or you can see here controls. We will have many videos about this in the future because we are planning to use this device not only as a protection, also implementing some uh, controls, okay? White area controls, okay? And coming back here, settings. Uh, for settings, you can set up many things. For instance, if I would like to change date or time, I can go here inside this folder and I have the possibility of setting time and date. I will do that later. And here, for instance, and it's very, very important for me and my students, here we are inside the folder for ports settings. As I say before, this relay is amazing and is very well equipped with many communication protocols, okay? This device has the possibility of starting from the classical Ethernet TCP AP, using FTP control uh, protocol, 
or also you can go for Modbus, the MP3, and especially we are interested on working in this case with the i6650150, okay? For that reason, later we will go here inside the Ethernet and we will make few configurations over there. One of the configurations to do over there will be configuring the Ethernet port. At the moment, this device has um, just the classical IP address 192.168.12. However, uh, we will we will change that because inside the lab we have an internal private network and several switches, and we need to configure this. However, that is job for another video. Okay. Right now, I am coming back to the uh, main or or home window home screen and well this is this is the cell 751 i spent a few minutes talking to you about the different features of this touch screen again this touch screen some people say some 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 protection engineers they will say no oh, this is fancy technology and you will not have every single relay in your substation with this Okay, my idea here is to show the students the top of the line devices you can have touch screen and that will make my life easy to introduce my students into settings and to viewing some information inside the relay. Of course, students also need to learn the hardest part. We have, we still have in a station with the classical electromechanical uh, overcurrent relays. I love those classical electromechanical relays, but that is a job for another video. Right now, it's time to uh, finish this video. Uh, I highly, I highly uh, recommend that keep watching the videos. The next video will be setting up the IP address and establish communication software between the relay and a uh, computer. Okay. Um, I, 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 I would like to express my gratitude and thankful to Schweizer uh, because those relays are amazing. They are extremely good looking, but also making the job done. And that is very impressive. Well, um, I present a general introduction about the uh, port configuration, input and output. I make emphasis here about the power, but at the end, at the end, this relay, uh, I, sh I switch on the relay, I present to you some of the characteristic of the main screen, and that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you learn something from here, and please stay tuned because we will be working with more um, cor uh, over current and protections relay in this series. Uh, more hands out on, on the equipment for all of you. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one.